Oh boy, Mercedes had a total disaster start to the season. They were so desperate to redeem themselves that they stuck to their guns and doubled down on the same failed concept. But guess what? That was a big mistake, and it showed in the first race of the season. Even Aston Martin, which is using Mercedes' parts, did better and snagged a podium finish. So what did the Mercedes principal do? Well, he had to put on his thinking cap and make a tough call. He finally realized that their original concept was just not cutting it, and they needed to scrap it and go with something more popular. But let's not kid ourselves. Things are still pretty chaotic over at Mercedes. They have a huge mountain to climb, and they're hoping they can figure something out during the season so they can maybe, just maybe, challenge for the title. Oh boy, things are not looking good for Mercedes. They had hoped to give Red Bull Racing a run for their money in 2023, but let's just say that didn't exactly pan out. In fact, the gap between the two teams in Bahrain was massive. Six tenths in qualifying and a whopping one second per lap in the Grand Prix. Ouch. So, what's Mercedes' game plan now? Well, they've already thrown in the towel on the 2023 World Championship and are resigned to this being an in-between year. But wait, it gets worse. They're even considering scrapping the W14 concept and starting from scratch with a whole new car. Talk about a Hail Mary. It's clear that the disappointment is real for everyone at Mercedes, and they're not shy about letting their fans know it. In an open letter, the team expressed their hurt and frustration with the current situation. They poured their hearts and songs into the car, but it just hasn't lived up to expectations. And let's not forget about Lewis Hamilton and George Russell. They're behind the times, and it's going to take some serious catching up to get back in the game. But hey, Mercedes is not one to give up without a fight. They're determined to figure out what went wrong and how they can fix it. It's going to be a tough road ahead, but they're ready to face a challenge head on. Bring it on! Mercedes is not about to let this setback get them down. They're taking a deep breath and keeping their cool, refusing to give in to panic or knee-jerk reactions. They know that in the cutthroat world of F1, it's easy to point fingers and play the blame game, but that's just not their style. They're all about owning up to their mistakes, learning from them, and coming back stronger. And you know what? Mercedes is not sitting idly by, waiting for things to magically get better. Nope, they've got developments in the pipeline, and they're ready to put in the work to turn things around. They're not giving up on this season, and they're not giving up on their fans either. In fact, they're reaching out and asking for support, but they're also making it clear that they want healthy debate and respectful dialogue, not online trolls and keyboard warriors. So, what's the bottom line? Mercedes is fired up and ready to fight back. They're not going to let one bad race define them, and they're not going to let the naysayers get them down. But what will Mercedes do? The team that dominated F1 for eight years straight is now in the midst of a dramatic fall from grace, and it looks like they're willing to do whatever it takes to get back on top, even if that means scrapping their current car concept and starting from scratch. Talk about a U-turn. According to Sky Sports' F1 podcast, Mercedes' recent struggles can be tracked back to a major loss of key personnel. They've said goodbye to James Vowles, Andy Cole, James Allison, and a whopping 15 engineers who've jumped ship to Red Bull powertrains. That's a serious brain drain, and it's left Mercedes in a bit of a transition phase. But hey, Mercedes isn't giving up without a fight. They're not content to just sit back and watch as their rivals leave them in the dust. No, they're ready to shake things up and make some bold moves. And it looks like they're not wasting any time. They've already made the call to abandon their current car concept, and they did it right after qualifying in Bahrain. That's a pretty drastic step, but it just goes to show how determined Mercedes is to turn things around. It seems the pressure is mounting at Mercedes as Lewis Hamilton sets his sight on an eighth world title. Former W Series driver Naomi Skeef has voiced her concerns, stating that the team made no progress in the winter and Lewis is running out of time. The urgency is palpable as they try to find a solution to their current performance woes. 
Meanwhile, Karen Chandok agrees that there are no easy answers, leaving Mercedes with a daunting task ahead of them. But guess what Toto and Mercedes did? The Silver Arrows have brought in the big guns. James Allison is back in the building, ready to work his magic and turn things around for Mercedes. With a lackluster start to the season, the team is hoping that their former chief technical director can swoop in and save the day. Will Allison be the answer to Mercedes's problems? Before the Bahrain Grand Prix even started, Toto Wolff was already admitting that their unique car concept wasn't going to cut it. And boy, was he right. The race was a painful experience for the Mercedes duo, as they limped home in P5 and P7. Adding insult to injury, Fernando Alonso cruised to a podium finish in his Aston Martin with a Mercedes powertrain. Ouch. But Mercedes is not one to take defeat lying down. No, sir. They're already looking ahead to 2023 with plans for a major overhaul of their Challenger. Wolf says they need to regroup, sit down with their engineers, and be totally non-dogmatic in their approach. George Russell echoed his boss's sentiments, admitting that they simply didn't have enough performance on the car. It's time to hit the drawing board and get to work. But the great news is that James Allison is back with Mercedes, but can he make the necessary changes to turn the team's fortunes around? The highly regarded former technical director has a wealth of experience and a proven track record of success, having guided Mercedes to four constructors' championships and played pivotal roles in championship-winning teams Ferrari and Renault. Allison's return couldn't come at a better time for Mercedes, as they face a daunting task of catching up to Red Bull and the surprisingly competitive Aston Martin. The pressure is on, and all eyes will be on the developments Allison will bring to Imola in May. In the meantime, the team is scrambling to improve their setup ahead of the Saudi Arabian Grand Prix. Toto Wolff is keeping his sights set on the future, looking at what changes can be implemented and how quickly they can be done. Can Mercedes turn things around this year? It won't be easy, as the pecking order seems firmly established, but there's always hope when a team has the talent and determination to succeed. All we can do is wait and see what the future holds for the German team. It's only been one race, but Red Bull's Helmut Marco is already writing off Mercedes's chances of winning the 2023 World Championships. Following a disastrous Bahrain Grand Prix for Mercedes, Marco has confidently declared that they can forget about the world title. With Red Bull's dominant performance in Bahrain and Mercedes's struggles, it's clear that major changes are needed. Mercedes has already confirmed that they will be making significant changes to their car concept in the hopes of closing the gap to their rivals. However, with time running out and a budget cap in place, it's a tough task to make such significant improvements. Marco is not mincing words, pointing out that Mercedes has multiple problems with their car this season, and they were unable to find solutions in the winter. He highlights the challenges that come with designing a new car, testing it, and gaining race experience, especially with the limited resources under the budget cap. Despite his confidence in Red Bull, Marco cautions that the Bahrain track is unique and future races could have different outcomes. Ferrari, who showed promising pace in Bahrain, still struggles with tyre wear, which could impact their ability to challenge Red Bull. But can Mercedes bounce back? They do have the advantage of time, as demonstrated by their win in Sao Paulo in 2022. But the progress needs to be both swift and effective. The Brackley team believed they could unlock more performance through the side pods, but Bahrain proved otherwise. If they do choose to move to a Red Bull or Ferrari-style side pod setup, the question remains, how much quicker can the W14 be? In qualifying, Hamilton was half a second slower than the pace setter, while Russell was only slightly faster. The gap was even more pronounced in the race, with Hamilton finishing a whopping 50.977 seconds behind winner Max Verstappen. While Mercedes has a strong track record, they need to make significant progress quickly if they have any hope of contesting for wins and the championship title. The clock is ticking and the pressure is on. Do you think Mercedes have a shot if they have a quick fix? But with scrapping their design and the price cap, it's going to be a hard task ahead. But with the right recruitment, anything is possible. 
Let us know your opinion and don't forget to like and subscribe.